Welcome back to Stock Talk Trades. We are looking at Chainlink or Link in this video. Um, we had the first run up and the second run up. I don't think I think this is about it for this for this bull run. We might consolidate and continue to push down because of this massive run. We came all the way from 16 to 32, so almost 100% since two days ago. In two days, basically, or more than two days, three three four days, but. Anyway, see how we act this wick actually popped up this swing high and then the sellers brought it straight back down. So it's a false breakout. So I can and again, again, that's why you don't want to play it after. So we have the first run up. Pull back the second run up and then you you don't want to go long. Long means you're buying. You want it to go up uh, on the third because it has a lesser chance of happening. And that's just some quick tip that most traders uh, follow. Same for the downside. You do the first pull, first rundown, and then you also play the second rundown, but you don't want to play the third rundown because it could be just a false breakout and or it could it just make a double bottom and not even break out and then continue to reverse. So that's why I only, that's why I think the uh, chain link will continue to actually consolidate here for a little bit. Wait for the 50 SMA to actually cross this 200 SMA. That's going to be a very, very good bullish sign. I do think we will pull back and probably consolidate within this range from 30 um, to 30 as this 50 SMA kind of pulls up and squeezes it up to that newer highs, uh, new swing high. I'm going to go and take a peek at a longer time frame to see where we could be heading. Again, that uh, that consolidation period, we have that first run up, the second run up. Um, so we don't really want to continue to put, go long here, but you know, it, we could be in an uptrend, uh, so it very well could happen. So I'm looking for an actual consolidation period here, uh, even longer one, maybe even a farther pullback. A good test of 27 will be a good pullback because this will give the 50 SMA time to pull up. And since it pulled back so hard all the way down that swing low, then we have more room to actually go up because instead of just actually pulling it down just a little bit for buyers to bring it up, the sellers won for a little bit and then they got exhausted more than what they did here. So, and there was way more buyers. But again, we are going to hit our head on that 37, 36. Um, oh, we do have an inverse head and shoulders here. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Boom, boom, boom. So we do have the neckline, which is right here. Let's go ahead and measure. I think we're actually about to hit it too. Let's go ahead and measure from here to here. Oh, you could have made a stupid amount of money doing this. This is eleven dollars, and eleven dollars is what? What kind of eleven dollars and sixty-three cents? Around one thirty-eight. That's where we could see it. But I don't think. I think we'll continue to actually push down and hit our heads on this uh, two hundred SMA. I don't know where the other thing is, but so we, we are, we didn't respect the 200 SMA, which is fine. We are back above it. We have some strong momentum. We are going to catch movement or uh, hit our head on that 21 EMA. I'm going to go and look at some Fibonacci retracements to see how much it, it uh, pulled back to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this. So we really need to break this 50% level in order for us to be in an uptrend because if it doesn't and finds support, resistance and we find if we break this level then we are going to continue down uh but if we build up here we could break up that's the that's the beauty of the much tracing so it allows you to know where it could potentially go but again i do think we will break above this and we'll kind of get squeezed in between the 50 sma and 21 ema up and hopefully up upwards but we will see I'm going to go and look at the weekly chart. Um, again, we are just, we bounced off the 50 SMA and we are now above the 21 EMA. Uh, when the, we have four days left in this week, I do want it to close close to the top of the wick or the candle. Um, we are getting pretty close. Uh, I do expect it to actually Maybe continue up for a little bit longer before we actually have a solid pullback. 
Because again, this is a rising wedge. And then potentially drop down to potentially $50 if it, if it actually falls up and even $50 and even $35. So that's what we got to be watching out for. I think, so again, this is the first run up, second run up, and we, we might be able to continue push up or push up here and then we break down to this level. We will see. We will see. We will see. We will see. We do have a nice up from just uh last year and in one year last year it was worth one dollar. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! All right, I think that's it for chain link. We really covered everything in all, most time frames. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. It helps with the channel, and you can stay up to date on your favorite cryptos. I cover all of these cryptos, and I'll sometimes do Doge. Um, but, you know, I don't really like Doge. No one does. I know a lot of people do. I'm probably going to get some hate in the comments for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love y'all. Peace.